The Sci-Fi Channel's website, The Dominion, at www.scifi.com, presents Seeing Ear Theater, home to the odd and outer edge of science fiction audio drama on the World Wide Web. Shh, shh, be quiet. Shut your eyes, hold tight to the quickening dark, and let your mind loose. Let your brain remember what it means to think, and you will see. You're here now. Welcome to Seeing Ear Theater, because nothing, nothing can match your imagination. George and the Red Giant, written by Eric Brown, based on the short story George and the Comet by Stephen Baxter. George Newbold and Phil Beard are two ordinary, everyday New Yorkers. That is, until they're ripped from their mundane lives and deposited in the branches of a giant banyan tree billions of miles, and perhaps years, away. Oh, and one other thing. They're not quite human anymore. right down the middle. How do you not see that pitch? He throws the ball, you hit the ball, we win the game. It's a simple procedure. Bill? Honey? Turn it off and come to bed, will ya? Yeah, yeah, soon. Another one? Come on! Swing the bat! Swing the freaking bat! Don't just stand there like a baboon. Do your job, for Christ's sakes. Come on, sweetie. Forget the silly game and come to bed. It's been so long since we... You moron! Thirty million dollars, and you strike out with a man on third. Oh, you make me sick. So why do you watch? What? Look, darling, I'll turn it down, okay? Why don't you just go to bed without me? We can talk about whatever it is tomorrow. Are you joking? That's the same story I get every night. This time it's baseball, next time it'll be the fights or your work. What happened to us, Phil? What happened? Nothing happened. I work hard, I pay the bills, I'm trying to relax and watch a little baseball here. So if you would just go back to, uh... Give me that. Don't play games with me, I'm not in the mood. Fine. Now leave it on and we'll talk tomorrow. Carrie, give me the remote. P O T A T O Po Te To Potato. Stop playing with me. I'm not. I'm serious. We have to talk. We don't talk anymore. Of course we talk. We talk all the time. We're talking right now. I can even multitask. Talk. And follow the game at the same time. Just you watch. See? Oh, I see plenty. I see an angry and ugly slob that would prefer to watch a bunch of overpaid boys try to hit a ball with a stick instead of talk. Or perhaps even, God forbid, perform sexual relations with his underdressed wife. What the hell do you see? I see a beautiful woman, I do, but come on, ca No! Damn it, swing! Swing! You gotta swing! Turn it off! Okay, okay! It's off. Just keep your voice down or you'll wake the kids. The kids? The kids? The kids aren't even here, Phil! They're spending the night at the Andersons! Are we that invisible? I... look, I'm under pressure at work. The designers are griping on one side, sales throwing a fit on the other, engineering's blowing deadlines left and right. I get home, I need to unwind. Your job's always been tough. Things used to be different. It's called entropy, chaos. The whole world changes, breaks down all the time. Don't get smart with me. Us, Phil, we've changed. Just a year or two ago, we used to be so close. Now you barely talk to me. So everything's my fault, is that it? 
fault. You've got absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. Sure I do. You want us to talk, right? Is that it? Then we'll be close again. You have an answer for everything. Yeah, except who's winning the damn game. Okay. Fine. Disappear. What? Nothing. Where are you going? To bed, Phil. Spend the night on the couch. Oh. Finally, a little peace and quiet. Wow! Oh! oh. What? 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 What's happening to me? Oh! What? What? What the hell? What's happening? Who the hell? What's happening? Where am I, Carrie? Carrie! Oh, God, I can't see. I'm blind. Carrie, help me! Please! Carrie? Is that you, Carrie? Uh, she can't help you now, pal. What? Who are you? Why can't I see? Carrie! Uh, she's no longer there. Uh, uh, rather, you're no longer there. You're here. You're not blind, though. Don't worry. It'll just take a while for your new eyes to adjust. <laughs> new, new eyes? What's happening to me? Relax. Take it easy. You're going to be fine. Who are you? Are you a doctor? Is that it? Am I in a hospital? That's it. Uh, a heart attack or a stroke? Oh, God. I'm in a hospital. I'm dying. You're not dying. You're going to be okay. But I am in a hospital, though, right? Uh, actually, you're in a banyan tree. A, a banyan tree? A banyan tree? Of course, I should have guessed. And, and who the hell are you? George. George Newbold, formerly of Hoboken, New Jersey. Formerly? Well, now I live in this tree like you. Oh, this is nuts. I must be nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I lost my marbles. I must be in the loony bin. Hello? Hey, uh, oh. Oh, my, my eyes. Oh, they're burning. It's the sun. You'll get used to it. Hey. I can almost see. I'm not blind. I can see. I can actually see. Told you not to worry. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, get away from me. What? What the hell are you? I'm George. I told you. Oh, no. A talking monkey. More like a flying lemur, actually. What? what, what, what? How did I get here? Where am I? Is this some kind of zoo? <laughs> a zoo? Well, I don't think so. And yet again... Where the hell am I? What, what's happened to me? The initial period of dislocation's the hardest part. I spent an age in a blue funk. You might as well accept. I'm dreaming. That's it. All this is some alcohol-induced nightmare. How long have I been here? I found you, oh, I guess a day ago. A day? A day? And how long have you been here? I've lost count. Seems like an age, say a week maybe. And, and what, what's that? That, my friend, is the sun. The sun? It's kind of huge, isn't it? A red giant. Yeah, of course, a, a red giant. Oh, oh. oh, I feel terrible. I need to sleep. Can you sleep in a dream? You're not dreaming, pal. This is real, all of it. The tree, the swollen sun. How do you think I felt when I woke up and found myself in this body? Wait, hold on there a second. What? My arm. Oh, Christ, what happened to my arm? It's hairy. Like the rest of your body. And what's this? These, these membrane things under my arms. They're your wings. What? You mean... Afraid so, pal. You're a flying lemur, too. I don't believe it. Try not to worry. I I've come to the opinion that people can get used to all sorts of things in time. Hey, buddy. We're not people anymore. Yes, so? Take a leap! Ho, oh, oh. ho. What's happening? Hey, are you okay, pal? Code blue! I have a code blue! No pulse. No blood pressure. Get the cardiac care team in OR4 now! All right, Phil. Don't you go in there. Man, you'll need me. to wait out here. Is he going to make it? Is he going to be all Man, right? Man, we'll let you know as soon as we learn something. Okay, let's give him a bolus of epinephrine. Get, get the paddles on. 
Snap out of it. Hey, pal, you okay? Um, I'm fine. I'm, I'm okay. Just, just, just back off. Suits me. Wait, 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 where are you going? Nowhere in particular, just soaring up and around. You can fly? Uh, yeah, that's what flying lemurs do. They fly. That and eat. Toodaloo. Smart ass. Boo. Oh. Oh, it's you. How's the sulking coming? Great. Never felt better on top of the world. Hey, I know. I've been there. It's hard to accept that you're locked inside the body of a flying lemur. Life's tough. Spare me the philosophy. Look on the bright side. You could be here on your own. Is that supposed to make me feel better? And luckily for you, I speak English. I mean, I might have been from ancient Egypt or Mesopotamia anywhere. What the hell are you talking about? Think about it. I could be from any time, any place, but I'm not. I'm from New Jersey, Hoboken specifically. The last time I remember is July 4th weekend, 1995. I'm from Long Island, Baldwin, May 1998. Phil Beard, by the way. Delighted to meet you, Phil. So, what date is it now? Then you agree this isn't a dream? I don't agree to anything. As far as I'm concerned, this is one grade-A granddaddy of a nightmare. I'm just waiting to wake up. Nightmare, huh? What about this? Ow! Hey! Ow! Hey, will you quit pinching me? Now, does that feel like a dream to you? I suppose not. This is real. Or at least as real as anything else you've ever experienced. Have I been in some kind of accident? You could say that. Look, I really don't know much more than you. But I've made a few guesses. Educated guesses, I trust. Precisely. You see, I used to be a teacher, general science at the William Bartholomew Elementary School, so I know a little about uh, Perhaps we could go over your resume some other time. Hear me out. You see, I think we've been reconstructed. Reconstructed? <laughs> what do you mean, reconstructed? I didn't need reconstructing. I wasn't ill or dead. <clears throat> what do you mean, ahem? I mean, <clears throat> how do you know? How do I know what? How do you know that you haven't died? I know I haven't died because... Because I was alive! I mean, I was sitting in front of the TV, watching the game. So? So what? So what kind of proof is that? You mean you think this is some kind of afterlife? This is heaven? Give me a break. Damnedest kind of heaven I've ever seen. Good God. You don't think this... This couldn't be hell, could it? I mean, I've never done anything that bad. I don't think we're in heaven or hell, Phil. Well, that's a relief. I think we've been reconstructed from some fragment of DNA, a fingernail clipping or a tooth found in some fossil layer, perhaps, like a clone. Fossil layer? Clone? I think the real Phil Beard threw away a nail clipping, say, and carried on with his life. The new Beard, you, is a clone, a copy of the human being. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that at all. You're guessing, right? You said you were guessing. Look, what do you know, some grade school teacher from Hoboken? Oh, who did this to us? Who turned us into these damned, ridiculous flying lemurs? I wish I knew. I wonder what the dominant life form is now. Humans? I think not. After all this time, maybe rats took over the world. Rats? Or maybe life as we know it is extinct. Where are we now? I mean, what year is this? Look at the sun. It's gone red giant. Yes, so you said, but what does it mean? It means that a long time has elapsed. I had an awful feeling you were going to say that. Like how long? You want a date? Okay. How about five billion years? A.D., give or take. Five billion years? Give or take. A long time. A lot has changed. Think of the wonders. Good God. What is it? You. What do you mean? I mean... You! You get off on this, don't you? You're actually, you're actually enjoying yourself here. Well, it could be worse. It could be worse? We're stuck in this godforsaken hellhole billions of years from home, and you say it could be worse? You know something, bud? You're sick. Your attitude stinks. That's how you feel. I'll see you in the morning. Fine! Good riddance! I'll be great on my own. 
I don't need... I don't need to... <sighs> sure is dark here without the lights from the city. Where am I gonna sleep tonight? George? George! George, I'm sorry! George, is that you? Who's there? Who is it? George? Jesus! George! 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 George, stop hiding! I'm sorry, okay? I'm over here. No, here. Jump onto that branch, then follow it all the way up here. Oh, you, you should have seen that son of a bitch. Frog the size of a dog. At least I think it was a frog. Horrible. It was horrible. Hey, hey calm down. Frogs can't eat you, pal. You should have seen this monster. Christ, you shouldn't have left me like that. It wasn't a very friendly thing to do. And I suppose calling me sick was. <sighs> okay, so we're even. <laughs> Well, what do you think? What is it? What does it look like? You made this? Mm. Gathered a load of green twigs and wove panels to make the walls, tying them in place with split lianas. Hey, I, I can always extend it, make it big enough for two. Don't just stand there. Come in, come in, take your coat off, stay a while. <laughs> uh, this here is the bed. Made it from lichen and moss I found growing on the thicker branches. Well, what do you think, Phil? See, well, you, you, you've obviously gone to a lot of effort. You don't like it, do you? It's not that I don't like it, George. I'm impressed. Really, I am. It's a hell of a fine, um, <laughs> shelter. I prefer to call it a tree house. Okay, you built yourself a tree house. Thing is, George, why? What do you mean, why? You don't need any of this. It's warm here. And listen to me. You're a lemur, for God's sakes. Don't you think you're a little too content with your present situation, building a home? How about get the hell out of here? Going back to being people, human beings, homo sapiens? Do you remember? It's hopeless. I don't believe that. I can't believe that. Besides, it's beautiful here. It's different. And I always wanted to be able to fly. You know, I never did. Like fly on an airplane. I, I was too scared. Huh, is that right? Look, I had to do something before I found you. Keep myself occupied. I might have gone mad otherwise. You want my opinion? I think we have gone mad, both of us. Don't talk like that. Here, let's eat. Are you hungry? Well, what's on the menu? T-bone steak? Hamburger and fries? I'm afraid there's only fruit, but it is pretty exotic. I gathered these earlier. They all grow nearby, so food's no problem. And lemurs like fruit. You just wait till you taste some of these beauties. Here. Now, you sure it won't poison me. I've been eating them for days. I call them sugar berries. Bite into it and you'll see why. Mm. That's not bad. It doesn't compete with a burger, though. Help yourself. And there's rainwater to wash it down. I made the containers from leaves. To your good health, Phil. Yeah, here's to you, bud. Look at that. Wow, look at that sunset. It makes those back home seem kind of anemic. It's frightening. It's too fiery, like it's going to burn us up. And those stars. Hey, you know something? I don't recognize them. Not one single constellation. They've changed a lot in five billion years. George? What? We're not on Earth, are we? I mean, look at the horizon, how near it is. Where the hell are we? A moon? One of the moons of Jupiter, perhaps? I don't see it, and Jupiter's kind of big. I think it'd be tough to miss. Okay, then, an asteroid, maybe. We're on an asteroid. You don't know, do you? You don't know. You don't know. Phil, please, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, Christ, of course it does. We don't even know if we're in our own solar system. We could be bajillions of light years from Earth. Bajillions? Yeah, billions and billions. Oh, God, I'm frightened. I want to go home. Cheer up. Tell you what, tomorrow, me and you will go flying. 
Oh, I don't think that's such a great idea. Oh, sure it is. I'll teach you. How you wait and see? Bye, when the hair comes, whoo, you know, when the rust comes through your hair like that, you Okay, all you gotta do is jump. You can't fall. Yeah, right. You're not built to fall. You're a flying lemur. Don't remind me. Go on, jump. You'll get the hang of it. I'm getting there. Don't rush me. Scaredy cat, you're chickening out, Phil? You're mixing your metaphors, George. I thought you were a school teacher. Don't change the subject. So, what do I do after I jump? Flop? A little, but mostly you glide. You control the angle of your wings with your thumbs, like this, see? Now, stand beside me on this branch. Good. And stretch your arms out like this. That's it. And on the count of three, away we go. Are you ready? No. Good, good. One. Oh, God. Two. You can do this. Go, oh, boy. And three. Jump! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at you. You're doing it. I don't know about this. Isn't it wonderful? It doesn't feel right. Oh, the view. Look down there. Look at the world. It's a banyan tree. The freedom, Phil. We're free up here. No, this is not. We're not free. This is a prison. Ah, so pessimistic. You have to appreciate the here and now. Live in the moment. Be thankful for what we have. Watch this. I can do a somersault in the air. Whee! Phil. Phil, Phil, where'd you go? What are you doing? Where are you going? You can't go that high. Don't worry about me. Come back. You'll burn your wings. I'll do what I want. Phil, Phil. I can do a cannonball. Watch this. Yeah! Paddles on. Stand back. Clear. Nothing. Turn it up five units. We'll hit him again. Okay. Clear. Oh, my head. Where am I? What happened? Shh. You're okay now. Take it easy. I caught you. So you saved my life, George. Mm, I suppose you could say I did. You shouldn't have bothered. Okay, you can let me go now. I think the heat's affected you. The heat? Oh, yeah, that must be it. I have heat stroke. Oh, boy, do I have a hell of a headache. How'd we get back to the hut? We crashed through the treetops. You smacked into a branch, but I caught you before you hit the ground. You were out like a light, so I carried you home. Home? Why do you insist on calling this oversized basket home? It isn't home. Home is... Home is Carrie and the kids. Oh, Carrie. I'm so sorry. Hey, come, come on. I, I don't like to see you down like this. If it had helped to talk, wh who's Carrie? My wife. The last time I saw her, we, we argued over something. I don't remember what it was, something or nothing. I was a jerk, I remember that. Perhaps this is punishment, George. I'm being punished for being such a, a lousy, self-centered ass of a husband. I don't think so. No? Perhaps not. Tell me about your life before here. I don't even know what you looked like. <laughs> me? I was a, a big, red-headed lummox. Played a bit of first base in my college days. Worked in computing, middle management in a software firm. Up to my eyeballs and work every day. I took it out on Carrie, I suppose. That was fine in the beginning, when we were first married, but... Well, you know how it is. You take things for granted. Uh, I guess I should have thought a bit more about Carrie and the kids. Been more... Yeah, I didn't know. How about you? Well, I never married. Never found the right woman. I devoted myself to my work, filled my time with after-school projects. What'd you look like? <laughs> well, what do you think? Go on, guess. I don't know. Uh, maybe, uh... Don't, don't be offended, okay? Go on. <sighs> Small, thin, balding. <laughs> Wire rim glasses. Not exactly a sports jock. Pretty close. And you weren't happy, right? Well, what makes you think... 
Yeah, okay. I told myself that everything was just fine. But who's happy, Phil? There were things I wanted that I knew I'd never get. But not just things. Like? It's too personal. I, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, George. Don't clam up on me now. You promise you won't laugh? Well, uh... Okay, okay. I cross my heart and hope to die. Oh. I wanted to get married. I wanted to meet a nice, quiet girl, settle down, couple of kids, house in the suburbs. Nothing too fancy or expensive, just your Mr. Average doing an honest day's work. That wasn't too much to ask for, was it? No. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> that didn't even come close. Oh, I had plenty of dates over the years, but uh, I don't know, never came to anything. I never really met someone I connected with, you know? And now, here I am with you, circa 5 billion A.D. <laughs> give or take. Yeah, give or take. <laughs> what do you miss most? Gary and the kids. Dude, sorry. Of course, the family, right? But besides family? Uh, hamburgers, milkshakes. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Seriously? Uh, I'm serious. Oh, baseball. The sound it makes. The crack of the bat on a hundred mile per hour fastball. Thwack. The thudding pop of a ball in a glove. The, the helter skelter pace of the game. The slow, serene in between times when it feels rural, peaceful, and everything's small town. And then there's the quick, violent bursts of action when it feels alive, jumping, big city-like. Knows how to breathe. <laughs> I miss baseball. I miss Beethoven. Huh? I miss his Ode to Joy. Oh, I don't know classical music. Oh, you know this one. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Is that what that means? Uh, more or less to me. <laughs> God, listen to us. And look around this place. What's the point? To live and be here now, right now. Oh, that's sick. A uh, matter of perspective. What are you doing? Where are you going? Calm down. I'm not going. I'm just getting something. What is that? A pet project I'm working on? A slab of wood? And a stick? Uh, a spear? It's a bow. Like a bow and arrow? What are you gonna shoot with it? Fruit? Not that kind of bow. A bow like this. You spin a length of wood in a hollow filled with tinder. The result, theoretically, fire. <laughs> so, Lima rubs sticks, Lima makes fire. Clever. Glad you think so. Tell me, why the hell do you need fire? Oh, think about it. Okay, I have. I still don't know why you need fire. There's nothing to cook. The sun keeps us warm. Civilization began with the utilization of fire. Great things sprang from that first innocent flicker of flame. How do you expect us to thrive and prosper without fire? Prosper? George, we won't prosper. Look at us. We're flying lemurs, for Christ's sakes. Or did you forget that small detail? Wrong, Phil. That's where you're very wrong. We're intelligent flying lemurs. There's a difference. Yeah, and that makes it even worse. We're intelligent enough to know. Ah, forget it. You play treehouse if you wanna. Just leave me out of it. I'm going. Going? Where is there to go? I don't know. That's the point. I'll find out when I get there. For starters, I'm climbing down to solid ground. Explore the surface of this hell. No, 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 you can't. Oh, who says? It might be dangerous. You don't know what to expect down there. What, are there predators? No, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not worth the risk. Sure it is. The alternative is sitting here. 
waiting for you to reinvent the wheel or the microwave oven. Now, you're so selfish. What about me? If something happens to you, I... I don't know how to say this, but I couldn't live here by myself. Have you thought of that? We're a team, you and me. Some team. I'm out of here. God, you're making a big mistake. Toodaloo! Wait, wait up. I'm coming with you. You shouldn't go alone. Slow down. Wait for me. It's not fair. My body's not the same as his. Look! It's the ground. We're nearly there. There's nothing but a plane of fallen leaves. It looks like this tree stretches on forever. It's dark down here. No flowers, not even another tree trunk. Well, what do you think? It's pretty bleak so far. So far? Isn't that it? I mean, shouldn't we go back home? There's nothing down here. Some explorer you are. Where's your sense of adventure? I think I left it at the tree house. Perhaps I'll go back up and have a look for it. Yeah, you'll do nothing of the kind. You're coming with me. But it might be dangerous. Dangerous? Don't give me dangerous. Here goes. This is one small step for a lemur. One giant step for lemur kind. <laughs> Wait for me. Oh. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Damn it, I can't walk. What? Stop it. I can't take this. Stop. Son of a bitch. Damn these paws. Phil, Phil, of course you can't walk. We're not bipedal anymore. You'll just have to scurry along on all fours like the rest of us here, Lemurs. Good God, the final indignity. Walking on all fours like some mindless animal. Well, Phil, you are an animal. Of course, you've always been an animal. But I am far from mindless. I will be the first lemur human to chart this stinking dirt ball. Come on! I don't know what, what you hope to find. Answers, George. I hope to find answers to your basic who, what, where, how, and most importantly, why? Why me? I don't think we'll find them down here. What is it? What, what, what are you stopping come on, for? Come on, come on, come on here. Help me out with this. What are we doing? Raking the front yard? Building a snowman. What does it look like? Mmm, a mound of leaves. Right. We have to have markers so we can circumnavigate the tree. Ah, so you're the Lemur Magellan. <laughs> exactly. Now we walk, excuse me, scurry 20 yards or so, and then stop and build another mound. And then scurry on and build another mound and so on until eventually we make it back around the tree full circle to our first mound there. Eventually? Ugh, this sounds like it's going to take a while. The great expeditions always take time. Oh, whoop de dip de doo Countless back-breaking hours of scurrying and mound building so we can end up right back where we started. Jesus, now who's sour and pessimistic? Well, there's nothing to find, just more leaves. How can you be so sure? Wait, hold up. Here we go. This is the spot for mound number two. Oh, joy. No, 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 I'm tired. Can't we stop and rest? Let's get another couple of mounds done, then we'll stop. But we've been at this for hours. We must have built a hundred mounds by now. We built 27 or eight, I believe. Well, it feels like a hundred. My paws are killing me. Look up ahead. It's the trunk we came down. Is it? I don't know. Are you sure? Of course it is. We've done it, Phil. We've done it. Well, well, well I'm not so sure. It is. It is. We circumnavigated the wire. Hold on. Hold on. Not so fast. What? Where are all the mounds? Uh, the mounds? Yes, the mounds. The markers. Um, uh, I don't know. Who cares? Perhaps they blew away. It's not the same trunk or there'd be mounds, and you know it. So? It's a different trunk, so let's go home anyway, please. And leave the rest of the world unexplored? No way. We can always come back, finish the rest later. It's not like the great plain and nothing is going anywhere. Well, if you want to go home to your treehouse, go. I'm not stopping. Whoa. What's that? Oh, what? Where? There. Behind those branches. It's blue. There's somebody there. I don't see. Hey, you! It's blue-faced. It's an alien. Hey, 
he's watching us. Hey, you there! What are you doing? Hey, wait! Where'd it go? Wait! Come back! <laughs> okay, and again, here goes. One, two, three, and clear! We have a rhythm. He's at 80 beats per minute. Blood pressure's at 90 over 50. Well, heart rate's dropping. 70 beats per minute. 60 blood pressure's dropping. Heart rate's at 50. We're losing him. Straight line. Get the paddles on. Stand back. Clear. What on my head? What? What's happening? Where am I? Relax. You're going to be fine. You just passed out. You fainted. Oh, this again. No. No. This is a dream. It has to be. Some kind of nightmare. I'm in a hospital. I can see a hospital. What? What are you talking about? What's going on? I'm in a hospital. A bed. You're in a banyan tree. You aren't dreaming. Oh, you. You again. You're holding me again. This isn't a dream, Phil. I'm right here with you. Right beside you. Sure you are. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, you're scaring me. More than usual. I'm hallucinating this tree. Sure, sure, if I can hallucinate this tree, I can hallucinate a sniveling little primate like you. Or that blue face. What was that? What happened to that blue-faced alien? That, that you probably were dreaming, or at least seeing things. Yes, yeah, sure, 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 right. It was probably one of them monster frogs again. How did we get over here to the trunk? You passed out. I, I thought you were dead for a minute there. You know how hard it is to find a pulse on a flying limo. <laughs> well, anyway, so I, I carried you. Well, more like dragged you back. Hey, 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 what's that? What? That light. There's a beam of light right there. I don't see it. What? It's right in front of you. 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 What? You're lying. I'm scared. You're a goddamn liar. That's why you moved me, so I wouldn't see it. Well, I didn't know what it was. I, I thought it might be dangerous. Get away from me. Are you in cahoots with him? Is that it? Are you working with the blue faces? No, no, I was scared, that's all. You were passed out. I, I didn't want anything to happen to us. Trust me, Phil, I was just... Uh, I, I was trying to protect you. Okay, fine. Fine. Thanks. Just don't touch me. Right, no touching. I, I forgot. Should have left you for dead. Wow, look at the light. Pulsing. Let's go check it out. Come on. Come on. Careful, Phil. It's beautiful, right? As if the ground is glowing all around it. I wonder where it's coming from or where it leads to. What the... Where did it go? What's happening? It just shut off. It disappeared. What's going on? There's nothing here. Just leaves. Just a pile of leaves. Where did it go? Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? I'm scared, Phil. Me too. Let's go back, please. Yeah, right. Rest. Regroup. Good morning. Good morning. Up and out, Hi. Ugh, leave me alone. Sleep well? I brought your breakfast in bed. Here. Yeah. What time is it? Oh, more fruit. Great. No coffee, huh? Afraid not, but the sugar in that will give you a good kick. Mm, I'm not bad, not bad. Mm, it's another beautiful day in the banyan tree. Mm. You know, I've been thinking. Uh-oh. Your theory that we were cloned from fingernails? What about it? It's a load of bull, isn't it? Maybe it is. Well, what do I know? It was only a working theory. It just doesn't hold up. Think about it. If I were a clone, I'd be a physical copy, but still a separate, different individual. I'd be a man with an exact body of Phil Beard, 1998, but none of his memories. Instead, I'm me. I'm Phil Beard, 1998. I have the memories. I can remember Carrie and the kids, the job, the home. The only thing is... 
Now it's five billion years in the future, and I'm trapped in the body of this flying lemur. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe they built these bodies for us. They? Who? You mean the blue faces? Uh, sure, whatever you want to call them. The, the aliens, super beings, deities. I like builders, actually, but I guess it doesn't matter. Go on, go on. Uh, right, so uh, maybe they built our lemur bodies here first and then uh, somehow plucked our brains out from the past. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Well, I guess it sounds a bit far-fetched. Just a bit. The question is, why, why, why? Why flying lemurs? If this was some kind of grand time travel cloning experiment, why not give us human bodies? I imagine they tried their best. Oh, you do, do you? And this is as close as they could come. Well, it has been five billion years. And really, as lemurs, we share about 90% of the same DNA as Homo sapiens. So all things considered, I'd say they did a pretty good job. But you're still guessing, aren't you? You don't know anything. Not a single damn thing. That's why you're sprouting your damn stupid theories. You don't know. You don't know a thing. Calm down, Phil. I, I don't like to see you like that, all, all agitated. It, it upsets me. Upsets you? How do you think I feel? You? You're lucky. If you were in my position... What? N nothing. No, no, go on. What's so special about your position? It looks like we're both in the same boat to me. It's all right for you. At least they gave you the right body. What do you mean? Well, what do you think I mean? Haven't you noticed? Good God, George. You're a female, aren't you? Yeah, just another little slip up by the builders. So, uh, so you did notice, Phil? Well, I, uh, that is, I, I guess now that you mention it, I have been feeling a certain, a certain something towards you. What do you think it's been like for me, watching you striding about all day in your strong male body? Good God, George. This changes the whole basis of our relationship, doesn't it? Oh, I was hoping so. Uh, uh, I've been thinking... What? Well, you know, we we should really be thinking about starting a family. Hey, 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 hold on a second. I'm serious. I mean, we're going to be here together for a long time. We might as well get used to the idea. Oh, boy. Hey, 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 what are you doing? No, 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 get away from me, George. Come on, don't fight it. No, no, no. I'm not ready for this. Well, I can make you ready, Phil. You're disgusting. Mm. I didn't sign on for this. Let go of me. <laughs> That's, I'm all you've got. You'll come around. You sick, perverted... I'm out of here. Come back. Please, I'm sorry, Phil. Come back. Where are you going to go? Away. Anywhere. Anywhere away from you. That's 61 mounds of leaves on the ground. 61 mounds of leaves on the ground. 61 mounds of leaves should be getting close there's still nothing but this flat plain though and leaves what a boring landscape the light there's another light same as before hey is anybody there come on out show yourself step into the light little one what who said that where are you do not be afraid Step into the light, and you shall see. Okay. Okay. Here goes. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh wow, it's huge. I'm floating. Where am I? Do not be alarmed. You are safe. I can't see through this. What is this? Who? Where are you? We are here, all around. You may call us the Builders. We come from far beyond your galaxy. The Builders? What are you doing to us? Why'd you bring us here? We brought you forward because we have the means to do so, and as a service, so you can experience the twilight of your solar system 
so you can gaze upon the final stages of the sun that you knew in its infancy. We are a curious people. We are long-lived. We took pity upon a race whose individuals were as short-lived as yourselves. What? A service? How is that a service? I don't want to watch the sun die. Perhaps you are incapable of wonder and awe. Perhaps we overestimated your species' ability to see absolute beauty. And yet, the other one, your companion, seems capable. Hold on. You talk to George? We have welcomed the one you call George. That son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill him. If you are unhappy here, perhaps this offering was a mistake. Perhaps you would prefer to return. I can go back? You, you, you mean, what do you mean? You can send me back to before, to right where I was, on the couch to carry? Of course, you are not here against your will. You are a guest. When? When can I go? As you prefer. If you are certain that you do not wish to witness... Save the poetry crap. I can leave now, this minute? At this present moment, or at any present moment. I'm out of here! Send me back, now! Right now! Let's do it! As you wish. Wait, wait. Stop for a second. Does George know about this? Does he know we can go back? We have shared this. Oh, oh I'm gonna kill him. He lied to me. I'm gonna bash his brains in. Can you give me an hour? No, no, no. 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes. As you wish. Oh, God, I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna shove that smiley face so far down his throat. He's not gonna quit. All I've given you, you blood-sucking leaf, you scum. Why? Why? Why wouldn't you tell me you talked to them? How could you, you pathetic, gibbering excuse? Damn you. Damn you. Stop, please, Phil. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Don't... Don't be mad! I'm past mad! You lied to me! You kept me here like some prisoner, and you! What the hell is wrong with you? We both could have gone back weeks ago. Oh, it was different for me. I was miserable back there. I got a second chance here, a fresh start. And it's so beautiful, the tree and the big sun. But when I got here, I was all alone. I'm sorry. Apology not accepted. Oh. There's something else. What? What else could there be? I asked them to bring me someone to be with. What? What do you say? You asked for me? You asked them to bring me here? No, not you specifically. You're not exactly my cup of tea, you know. I'm sorry. I just asked for someone, anyone, and, and they gave me you. That is enough. <laughs> Listen to me. No, shut up! Before I strangle you, I'm going back. Oh, please don't. I can't be by myself again. I can't live here alone. I don't care. I'll kill myself. I'll hang myself for Liliana. I don't care. To the loo. I'm serious. I'll fly into the sun. That's it. Don't you think that I won't? You just watch me. I'm flying. Goodbye, Phil. Goodbye, cruel oil. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, monkey. I wonder if the game will still be on when I get back. I could use a little baseball right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, listen to me, Beethoven. Give me a break. Jesus, he's doing it. He's flying straight into the sun. The mad bastard's really going to kill himself. Don't, George! Stop! Damn it, he can't hear me. George! I'm coming! Hold on! I'm coming! I'm almost there! Oh, I'm bleeding. We both are. 
Just scratches, though. Nothing life-threatening. You caught me. You saved my life. Just returning the favor, you know. Now we're even. I can't believe you saved my life. Shh, give me a little credit, would you? I wasn't gonna stand there and watch you die. But you said... I was bluffing. I didn't think you'd go through with it. I was mad. You had a right to be. True. <laughs> True, I did, but still... I was cold. Uh, well, it's okay. No, no love lost, as they say. I'll be fine. You can go. No, there's no rush. What, what do you mean? You, you, you don't mean you're, you're going to stay. There's no rush. The builders can send me back tomorrow or a week from now. Or 25 years from now when I'm old and firmed, I suppose. You're serious? I won't turn my back on you again. I'm sorry. That's... <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you think the life expectancy of lemurs is? <laughs> <laughs> I have the farthest. Oh, this is so great, Phil. We'll explore the rest of the world and we'll fly and eat and, and fire. We can do a lot with fire. I figured out what I was doing wrong, and I think I can make it work. We can harden wood for starters, make better tools. Then we can go down to the surface and dig through the mud to the bedrock. Maybe we'll find metal ores. And we ought to think about finding some substitute for paper, bark, or chewed wood. We'll write down all of our experiences. So then one day when our kids travel beyond the solar system, they'll be able to tell people or, or other spacefaring lemurs our story. Our kids? You mean... Why, I imagine it'll take a, a bit of getting used to, George, at first. But for a flying lemur, you know, you're pretty cute. A Tuesday? Yes, it feels like a Tuesday. No, I don't think so. Well, it isn't a Monday, that's for sure. I don't remember thinking Tuesdays had a feel. No, Fridays. Fridays had a feel. And Saturdays and Sundays. And Mondays. Even Wednesdays had a feel. But Tuesdays? Sure. Remember that middle of the beginning of the week feel? Well, perhaps. Come on, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday it is. A beautiful Tuesday evening. Look at the colors. Wow. Wow. It's stunning, breathtaking, and all I could mutter night after night is wow, wow, and wow. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Uh, you. <laughs> you know, you used to be so scared. Now look, you're wow struck. <laughs> scared me? No. Of what, the sunset? Yes, the colors were too something, too yellow, I think. <laughs> red, too red. <laughs> I thought it was gonna burn us up. Yeah, you were different then. It took a while before I came around. How long do you think it's been? As if it mattered. I figure somewhere between 20 and 25 years. A long time. It doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't. There she goes. Into the great plain of dried leaves. Ready to hit the sack? Phil, there's something I need to... I... I think it's time. Why? No, what, what do you mean? How can you say that? Don't fight me on this, please. I don't have the strength. But what are you saying? What are you talking about? I'm dying. 
these bones won't hold out much longer. I used to think I'd die here in this tree, but it wouldn't be fair. I want to go back. I want to take this happiness back with me. This time here, Phil. This shared time with you. This is what I always imagined as a kid. All I wanted the moment I got here was to leave. No, I... A couple more days. Gonna have a couple more days. A couple more days. Together. There was something else I used to be scared of, still am. That's cemeteries. I remember as a kid, even as an adult, I couldn't go near them. And if I passed one and caught a glimpse of a tombstone, here lies so-and-so, beloved father. I couldn't sleep for nights. People would always talk about it. The serenity of the grass and the stones, the peace and the comfort. But all I ever felt was disgust. Fear. But Phil, this isn't the end. You're not going to die. You're going back home to carry your children. There's nothing to be afraid of. Yes, home. I'm not sure. You have to. You have responsibilities and amends to make. We could come back tomorrow. I wouldn't make it. I'm too old. This is it. Will we see each other again? Back in New York, in New Jersey? I hope so. I don't know. What if we don't remember this at all? It's possible. What if we wake up and think that it was all just some great big dream? I couldn't bear that. It won't matter. Whatever happens, it won't change that this was real. That this is real. I want to know that I'll remember. We can't. I want to know. For sure. Go, Phil. Just step inside and go. I'll follow. Joe and Johnny. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Again, clear! We have a rhythm again. He's at 80 beats per minute. Blood pressure's at 90 over 50 and rising. 100 over 60. 120 over 80. We got him. He's back. Gary. I'm here, Phil. I'm right here. Gary. Gary. Bobby, be sure to share some of that cotton candy with your sister. And Tina, honey, don't get too far ahead. Hey, Phil, look at the chimpanzees. They look so wise. I love watching their facial expressions. I'm so glad you came today. I'm sorry, Carrie. I'm so sorry for everything. For all the things I've said, for all the times I wasted instead of spent or shared. So, nearly dying had its benefits, then. A bit of cliché, I suppose, but it's true. Oh, look at these. The Kaluga, also known as the... the... flying lemur, native to Madagascar. Yes. How do you know that? <sighs> Not sure. Picked it up somewhere. Oh, they're so cute. 
Why are you just the cutest ball of fur imaginable, Mr. Leroy? What could just squeeze you to death? Come here. Girl, <laughs> stop. They're in public. You hear that? What? Hold on. That. That song. What is it? What's going on? Who is that? Do you know him? George. Phil? Aren't you going to introduce me? I have to be going. Good to see you again. And you. Who was that? Oh, uh, an old flying buddy of mine, that's all. Nothing important. <laughs>